These are our biggest sellers. For Mackenzie Farquay, there's nothing small about Small Business Saturday. Small Business Saturday is our busiest day of the year. The American Express sponsored holiday, now in its ninth year, is sandwiched in between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, encouraging shoppers to get out and support their local retailers, restaurants, and more, both in person and on the web. Farquay has been participating since the start and says nearly a decade in, there's barely room to stand in her Queens, New York retail shops on Small Business Saturday. In fact, that single day accounts for 8% of her overall holiday season sales. I think people in this neighborhood especially are trained to know like this is the day you come and support small businesses. So they're not only coming to do holiday shopping, but like they want to be here to support us. More than 80% of consumers say they plan to shop small this year, either in person or online, according to data from American Express and the National Federation of Independent Business. And last year, customers spent some $13 billion on Small Business Saturday. E-commerce platform Etsy is known for connecting shoppers with its 2 million small business sellers online. This year, it's bringing the shopping experience to life with pop-up shops in cities across the country, as well as marketing its online stores to give consumers even more opportunities to shop small. Mass retailers play a great role in uh, convenience and price, but when you shop from a small business, there is a story behind what you're buying, and it's so much more personal and thoughtful, uh, especially for the holiday season. This year, nearly 60% of consumers say they are aware of Small Business Saturday, and of that group, about 80% of them plan to go out and shop small at independently owned retailers and restaurants, Becky, on that day. Kate, what kind of impact does that have on the local community? Sure, so Amex and the National Federation of Independent Business did this big survey, and they said that 67 cents of every dollar that's spent at a local retailer winds up staying in that community. Wow. So it does have a really big impact on the neighborhood and the community at large. That's great. Kate, thank you so much. Thank you.